his name is Mohammed Lawal. But most people know him as just King Mo. And much like a real king, he rules with an iron fist and holds court in his own kingdom, the kingdom of mixed martial arts. The king, King Mo, stands six feet tall with a whopping 79 inch reach and weighs in at a lean, mean 205 pounds. At just 33 years of age, he has a royal and impressive record of 12 wins, four losses. Being king did not come easy to the young prince, however. Like most kings, he had, well, some hard times growing up. Raised from humble beginnings by a single mom, the king came from a small town in Kentucky and has two brothers and a sister. The weird thing is, most of my family have been raised by single moms, you know, and uh, I feel like, for me, my mama, she instilled me with uh, great values, like hard work, dedication, being true to yourself, and uh, that's what I learned from her, that's what I'm sticking with to this day, and uh, it's, it's shaped me to who I am right now. You know, my dad did commit suicide, and it really didn't impact me that much. It just, uh, it kind of just made me feel, know that I have to be a better person than he was, because, you know, Granted, he wasn't the best father and he wasn't the best person, so I have to remind myself, hey, don't be like your daddy, be better. Be like your mom, boy, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, um, you know, that's one thing you know, I picked up from, the, from that incident. And two, I gotta be a better father. You know, I got, I got two, two kids, so I know I gotta be there for them because my daddy wasn't there for me. So I can't let the cycle go on. I gotta break the cycle. But in true King style, this did not stop the young prince from achieving his goals. Well, you know, we start from high school. High school, um, <clears throat> started wrestling kind of late. I was a state runner-up. My senior year, I was a state champion, undefeated. Go to college, you know, um, I was a national runner-up as a sophomore. Um, national champion as a junior. Oklahoma State, I was an All-American. Um, then I won University of Nationals. Uh, let me see, uh, then I won, uh, I was an Olympic alternate on the national team. Um, won nationals about three or four times. I can't remember, it's too many to count. Um, I was a world team member, took seventh at Worlds. Um, I won a bunch of over international tournaments, like the Yasser Dagu tournament in um, Turkey. I won the Golden Grand Prix in Uzbekistan. And I won uh, the um, Takti Cup in Iran and a few other domestic tournaments. So it's, it's a long list, you know, once you, you know when, you're, when you're winning, you're winning, you know, put it like that. But the story does not end here. For when the young prince grew up and became king, he had to defend many enemies that attacked his mixed martial arts empire, slaying them with his bare fists. Sometimes, new opponents would come out of nowhere. So you have a new opponent at Belgium 123 with Dustin Jacoby on deck. How does that change your game plan at all? Well, luckily it doesn't change my game plan that much at all. You know, um, my first opponent, originally Tom DeBlas, was a boxer. I brought in Michael Hunter to help me. Then uh, Michael Hunter had a fight come up. He won, but he won by um, I think TKO. The boss gets, gets injured. I had another guy, uh, Marcus Sursa, take in, take step up and take the fight. But he got injured. But he was a kickboxer, so um, I changed some things up, worked on my kickboxing defense, and uh, trying to work on my my takedowns and my hands and everything, and uh, just stay sharp. He gets hurt. Now I got Dustin Jacoby, who's a taller version of Sursa, but cleaner, and. Uh, you know, nothing's really changed. The you know, same game plan, seek and destroy, and come out with no injuries. Does it affect you at all mentally to have to constantly keep preparing for a new type of, of athlete? You know, you've had, what, three opponents now? Yeah, you know, it, as far as the changes, it doesn't affect me at all mentally. It just, I, it just makes me realize that I have to stay sharp in all aspects of, of this sport, you know, this fight game. You know, I have to work on my ground game, because you never know what this guy knows. Working my takedowns, takedown defense, my boxing, my kickboxing. I have to keep stay sharp because, you know, you never know what these guys know. They can always improve, and you have to improve yourself. It's no secret that kings love to work hard, and no one works harder than King Mo, often putting in superhuman, twice-a-day workouts, preparing to defend his mixed martial arts territory from hostile invaders. Okay, a typical training day, um, you know, Starts off with me waking up, like always. Um, come to the gym, you know, um, I might hit mitts here and there with a, with a Jeff or somebody, Daya. Um, then I do wrestling class with Cammy, which is hard. Um, sometimes I'll, move, I'll find a partner, move around, go over, you know, set up, you know, to a takedown. Then from there, with that workout itself, usually around two and a half hours. From there, I go to Brian Harris's class, Coach Harris. He kills me with strength training, destroys me. It's the hardest thing ever, and then, uh, um, you know, 
I knock that out. It usually takes about an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. Go home, rest, come back, and I do something at night. Like, it'll be jujitsu at night, or I'll do a band workout at night, round the pound drills. I'm always doing something, always improving. So, uh, you know, it's not easy. Throughout history, kings have often had loyal warriors by their side. And this one is no different. Boxing coach Jeff Mayweather comes from the majestic Mayweather clan and had this to say about King Mo. He loves boxing, so it makes it easy for me to train him, you know, and um, he catches on and he's thirsting for knowledge. That's what you want as a coach. You want someone that loves the sport as much as you do and also want to learn. Like, a lot of times when we do things, we do it three or four times, sometimes more than that because Mo wants to make sure we got it right. So, you know, he's a perfectionist. Muhammad King Mo Lawa, a true king in every sense of the word. Charismatic, commanding, and composed. He will no doubt be remembered, like many a good king is, as a true warrior who regally served his people. I feel like I'm a king of myself. You know, I'm not trying to be a king of anything but myself, and that's all that matters, you know. Being the king of a sport, people are gonna say yeah, people are gonna say no. To me, in my opinion, I'm a king of myself, and that's all that matters. All hail to the king. This is Susan Singari reporting.